two items on today's agenda. Number one, check up on our ailing pepper plants, and number two, talk about doing some pruning. I want to say that it's improving. If you'll remember this plant and the one back there, I've been spraying both of these with a foliar spray fertilizer to try and bring it back to life. And I think it's actually working. I'd have to go back and look at some old footage, but it looks like it's coming back to life. These guys are still looking really good and healthy. And if you look closely in every plant, we are seeing fruit. The other thing to point out since putting these stakes in, I swear these plants have grown another 10 inches up and they're continually growing outward. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to tie back a couple of more limbs. But on to what I wanna cover in this episode, pruning your plants. Now, according to the extension office, this is an optional step that gardeners use to help keep plants tidy, manipulate fruit growth, and even speed up ripening. But they point out one other thing, and that is you should only prune indeterminate plants because they will continue to grow flowers and leaves throughout the growing season. If you prune determinate varieties, you may reduce the harvest at the end of the season. Our cages have done a really good job of naturally keeping those limbs gathered and collected and giving them a support system, so there's really no real reason to prune according to the extension office. Either way you look at it, the key to pruning is pruning enough, but not too much to where the fruit is still getting the beneficial nutrients from the leaves and it's keeping them shaded from the sun. And this also comes with a word of caution. You should never prune tomato plants when your leaves are wet, as that might set it up for a disease problem. Now, let's bust out our pruners and do some pruning. One of the things that we're looking for are leaves and limbs that are touching the ground like this that are starting to yellow and blacken around the edges. We wanna clean this up and get rid of it because we don't wanna spread this to the healthier parts of the plant. This will lessen the chance of disease and a nice pruned plant with fewer leaves it's gonna be less dense, allowing more air to flow throughout the rest of the plant. And another added bonus of pruning off these leaves and thinning out the canopy, it's gonna make it easier to spot any kind of insects problems that we have that might otherwise be hiding underneath here. So all we're gonna do is trace limbs like this all the way back to the main stem, and we're gonna cut it off as close to the main stem as possible. off we'll either put it in a bag and throw it away or just toss it in the trash can but here's what the garden looks like after everything has been pruned as you can see things are opened up we have better airflow through the bottoms of our plants better sunlight none of our limbs are touching the ground looks good we wanted to prune off those limbs as close to the main stem as possible while trying not to damage the main stem but look what I found after I opened this up Got a nice vine growing underneath here with some good tomatoes popping. The other benefit to pruning, if done at the right time, it's gonna redirect energy to creating and ripening fruit instead of creating new leaves. You might get fewer fruits on a pruned plant, but what fruit you will get most likely will be bigger had you not pruned in the first place. And another additional benefit, because you're training your limbs to grow up and you're pruning them off, you can put your plants closer together and grow more fruit. This is also great for anyone that lives in a cooler climate where you're in a race against time to get your harvest before the frost comes in and takes over and kills anything that you got growing. Another thing you can do when it comes to pruning is when you first go to plant, go ahead and snip off those lower limbs or leaves so that you can get your plant deeper into your garden to really get a nice strong root system. Now if it's early to mid season in your planting, the extension office recommends that you continue to pinch off flowers until your plants have gotten to about 12 to 18 inches tall, again so that we can redirect energy to healthy root growth. And like we showed in the last video, you want to continue to pinch off suckers throughout the growing season to not waste energy in those areas. Now as the growing season starts to draw to a close, our tomato plants are most likely still going to be loaded with some fruit. We'll touch more on this when we get closer to that stage in the game, but to help speed up ripening late in the season, 
what we're gonna do is go ahead and pinch off the top of each main stem. Our goal is to do this about four weeks before the first expected frost sets in. This will stop flowering and any kind of new fruits from setting in and instead will redirect all of that energy to your existing fruit to make them bigger and richer. So what if you already have big plants growing in your garden like what we've got? As we've already showed you, by pruning off those lower limbs and those leaves that are touching the soil, we reduce the risk of soil-borne diseases setting into our plants. As your plants get taller, it's recommended that you remove limbs and leaves up to 18 inches from the ground. Again, we wanna work when our leaves are dry and not wet so that we reduce the amount of water that can splash around or off leaves and onto another and spread disease that way. Now for our particular garden, because our plants are supported by cages, we wanted to remove those lower limbs, again, to promote good airflow. Research provided by the Extinction Office shows that leaves that are next to fruit clusters are the ones that actually send sugar and nutrients to the fruit. So when we're pruning and thinning out our plants, we wanna make sure that we don't remove leaves that are above or below a fruit cluster so that we ensure that those sugars and those nutrients get to that fruit. Leaving those leaves alone will also help shade our ripening fruit so that we don't get any kind of sun scalding going on. So that's it for pruning. If you have any other further questions, leave them in the comments section below, email our customer service staff, or pick up the phone and give us a call. For our next video, I think we're gonna be touching on pest control. So make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. You can click this playlist to see all the videos in the gardening series so far, and also click this playlist to see our Do My Own Lawn Care series. And as always, thanks for watching.